Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. I finally have my Zoom back and it has the 4G LTE upgrade. I didn't really think that doing the unboxing or anything was that great just because it's been several several months anyways um, since the 4G's been out. But uh, here, here we go. And so um, as far as 4G, I am not in a 4G zone right now. So I'm not going to show you that, but what is the first thing, that, of course, that you do when you get your device back? We're going to root it. Um, one thing that I was looking for, of course, is a guide that uh, could show everyone, not just the 4G people, how to root your Zoom, because it's getting very fragmented out there. I have about four or five rooted guides on the different operating systems. This one, no matter what operating system you have, and no matter what... Um, Zoom you have from a, you know a different country 4G 3G Wi-Fi this will work okay one uh, hardware requirement is that you do need a micro SD card and you do need to put that micro SD card on the top of your Zoom in that Zoom slot I know it's not clearly lit but you know what I'm talking about it's the SD the micro SD slot in the Zoom um, you, you just need a you need a card you can just steal it from your phone temporarily if you want to um, and so um, Basically, um, you're gonna, we're going to be following a guide um, by Solonars, great guy out there on the XDA forums. And um, first, you of course need the the basic requirements for any route, ADB and fastboot. Um, I have plenty of videos on that, so of course, um, just follow those. Um, now, the now we're going to go to the files that you need. Um, so first, um, just to find um, the text and files to do this, all you have to do is type in universal zoom root on Google. Very, very easy. I already had it up on the screen. And um, as you can see, what you want to do is you want to download the rooting update zip file. Just click here. When you click there, it's going to download. And then you can use a file management tool. I'm using this, um, this one right here. And if you go to your home, it's gonna it's gonna actually be called SD card, but it's not your SD card. It's actually your internal memory. It's just the way that the Honeycomb operating system is right now. And if you go to downloads, you'll see that that Zoom Universal Root file is there. Um, so you just need to copy it and make sure your SD card's inserted. And and when you insert it, make sure your zooms off. So when it boots on, um, it sees it. And then um, you can go to all the way out, um, and you can see SD card, and that's your internal memory. But actually, your SD card is called external one. And then all you want to do is paste it in here, and you can see it's right there. Now, of course, there's some operating systems out there that does not have access to the SD card, um, but your Zoom can still use it for the root method you just have to load your file up on a computer on the SD card first then put it in your zoom and then resume the step um, we're also going to assume um, that you have already unlocked um, the bootloader okay and so what we're going to do now is um, start the process for the root um, you also want to um, as you can see in that guide have a flashing recovery file um, on your computer that you're going to push through to your Zoom and that's what we're going to do right now. So make sure you have that downloaded. Okay, so one thing before we start um, this whole process out, make sure on the bottom, you know, you go into the settings and if you go to application and development, you should have USB debugging on. Um, if you do not have USB debugging on, then you will not be able to send commands to your Zoom. Um, so that might be a little trip up for some of you. Um, then, um, with that accomplished, um, you want to go to your computer now. Have your um, Zoom connected through USB. And um, let me just pan the camera over to the computer. At your computer, you want to open up terminal or command prompt, and 
Again, this is assuming that you already have ADB and Fastboot already installed. You can look at my past videos on how to do that. Um, um, all you want to do is now start the recovery process. So we just go ADB, reboot, bootloader. And before I press enter, that command should be the same in Windows or Mac, depending on the way um, you have it set up. You'll know it works by, I'm going to press enter now, you will see your Zoom will actually reboot, okay? And then you'll see at the top it will say starting fast boot protocol support, okay? And then that's when we begin the next thing. So this one's a little bit different um, dependent on whether you're using a Mac or not. Um, the fast boot that I have is called fast boot dash Mac. Um, but if you're on the PC it's probably just called fast, fast boot. And then you I need you then you want to type in flash recovery. And then um, so flash recovery, these are commands, and then you want to specify the file. Okay. Now the file has a location dependent on where you are in um, in your in your command prompt or terminal. So I'm going to back out for a second just to kind of show you. You can see this is kind of your pre pre pressing ls in Mac or dir in Windows can kind of pull out your current files and folders. Um, my file's actually in um, downloads, so I'm going to go cd um, downloads. ls again and I have tons of uh, files in my downloads of course. But we want to just put in that particular file so we're just going to do fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the file that's in this folder if um, it's not in the folder that you currently are at then you would need to put that full path of the folder this is the easiest way that I recommend for you if you don't understand what I'm saying just uh, navigate to the path using the code that I was showing you CD and um, you, you, you'll be able to download it. You can also look at my prior root videos. They also will help you understand what is going on if you're having any trouble. And basically, it's a, it's a long name. And um, again, I'm going to wait and hold enter until I show the zoom. But you press enter. and it will say oh command not found again as you can see I, I when I said before it was fast boot dash Mac I wasn't paying attention I do this between my my Mac and my PC and so I, I sometimes forget now it's fast okay there it goes forgot to do dot IMJ got the name wrong but you can see you press enter it will say it's okay and then up here you also see a little bit of action going on and I will eventually say that it's okay so what you just did is you flashed the recovery which is what we're going to use to now root the zoom so with this um, done all you have to do now is um, you can actually unplug your zoom and we're no longer required to use the computer anymore and so we're going to just m migrate back into zoom mode okay and in zoom mode what I'm going to do is I'm going to now force turn off the zoom um, by holding down um, the, the volume up and the power button and then after three seconds of this Motorola logo um, you want to hit the volume down button um, and if you miss that window, and you can just press the volume up and the power button and try again. Okay? So here we go. You can see it's restarting. One, two, three. And do you see that? Right at the top, oops, I guess you can't, um, is the Android recovery after three seconds. And now we can launch recovery mode. Okay, it's important 
that you do it at this point or you have to repeat that last step of installing the recovery. If you let it boot to the Android operating system, what you just did will be rewritten over. So you need to redo installing that um, bootloader. Um, excuse me, you need to reinstall that recovery. Okay? And um, all you have to do is to select it is volume up. And here we are, we're in recovery, and we just want to now apply that root file that we had downloaded on the Zoom. So apply update from the SD card. Um, and this particular recovery actually reads from the SD card. So you don't have to worry about that. This was all taken care of. Um, navigating is just volume up, volume down, and power button to click enter. Um, okay, just like that. And so what you want to go down to is install zip from the SD card. Choose the zip from the SD card, and then you want to go to the universal root. Hit enter. And there you go. You are all set. And you can reboot your system and you now successfully have root. Alright, sorry about for the couple of hiccups there, but um, this is actually pretty pretty straightforward, pretty easy. All you need is the SD card. Um, that's the only thing that knots with the Zoom um, that you need, and uh, you're good to go. I hope this is helpful. Um, please let me know what you think, and big props to Sonars and of course the whole Time Ed team over there. They're doing a great job. XDA forums, awesome place. Um, and uh, what's next but to install uh, some custom ROMs and kernels. So um, look forward to those videos, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great one.